Flexbox layout can be very challenging, especially if you're new to CSS. For example, setting up a responsive equal width column gap and keeping it consistent across the breakpoint. Today, I'm going to give you a formula that will give you a perfect equal width columns layout with perfect gaps and perfectly responsive. With this formula, you don't ever have to worry about this type of layout. We're going to be using a query loop to get WooCommerce product. Let's add a section, select the container and add a block. We're going to use this block as our card. Go to content and enable query loop. I want to query the product post type. The rest is going to be the default. I'm going to add an image to that div and then I'm going to add a heading. The image is going to be a dynamic data which will be a featured image that's going to be the product image and the heading is going to be a dynamic data which will pull in the product name. I'm going to go ahead and set the typography font size to 14 pixels. That's all we need. We just need the photo and the product name. I'm going to select the container which is the immediate parent of the card and then I'm going to go to the custom CSS and then we're going to add a CSS. To target the current container, we're going to write root and then we give our open and close braces. What I'm going to do right now is to declare some global variables. So I'm going to declare a gap and then I'm going to give that one rem. Next one will be our columns. That will be the number of columns. I'm going to just give it a, a default value of four. Then the last one will be a minimum width, which I'm calling mean. That's going to be the default of 28 rem. So these are local variables that we're going to be using. Now we have everything we need to start setting up our formula. We're going to use the calc function. In that calc function, we're going to calculate 100% divided by the number of columns minus the gap value times the number of columns minus one divided by the number of columns. The gap value is the values we have in our column and row gaps. The number of column gaps is the number of columns minus one. For example, if you have four columns, that means you have a total number of three column gaps. If you have three columns, then you have two column gaps. Let's say you have a setup of three columns with a column gap of two rem, then our calculation will be 100% divided by three minus two rems times three minus one divided by three. We're gonna replace that with the CSS variables we created earlier, and that is gonna be 100% divided by var columns minus var gap times var columns minus one divided by var columns. We're gonna be using this formula as the value of the flex basis. With the container selected, I'm going to go to content and make sure I stack the children horizontally and then I'm going to set the flex wrap to wrap. I'm going to give it a column and row gap using the variables we created earlier. And then I'm going to copy it and paste it. Let's select the block. Now on the flex basis, I'm going to paste the formula that we created. Let's go ahead and clean up the design. I'm going to select the section and then go, go to the background. I'm going to give it an off-white color. I'm going to select the container, go back here and set the content to stretch. I want to give this a padding and then because of that I'm going to wrap it with a block and go into the layout for that block. I'm going to set a padding of 24 pixels all around. To ensure it sits at the bottom I'm going to give it margin top of zero to ensure it lines up at the bottom. As you can see our layout is already taking effect. Let's go back to the container and the custom CSS and let's continue. As a matter of fact this minimum width we will not be using it so I'm going to take it off. We're going to add some more CSS. These are going to be three media queries. The first one is going to be at maximum width 1240 pixels. At that breakpoint, we're going to set the column variable to three. The next one is going to be at a maximum width of 1024 pixels. At that breakpoint, we're going to set the columns to two. And the third and last one is going to be at maximum width 580 pixels. And we're going to set the columns to one. So you can see we are redefining that variable at different breakpoints. Let's save this and take a look at the front end. So let's see how responsive this looks. I'm going to go down there. So you can see it's fluid and responsive. Let's check it out at the different devices. So the iPhone 4, the iPhone 12 Pro. I'm going to go to iPad mini. Looks good. Rotate looks OK. I'm going to go to that. Everything looks nice and they are properly spaced and aligned. The iPad Pro. Everything looks great. Just imagine how much work this takes away from you. These breakpoints are strategically chosen to give you a consistent result. Feel free to adjust it if you know what you're doing. But if you're not sure, leave it as it is. Now let's see how easy it is to adjust this. Now if you want to have four columns, we already have a, a default columns of four. Let's say you want to have just three columns. So I'm going to change this to three. And let's save it and see what happens. 
So this refreshes and you have three columns. So you see you can easily and quickly change from four to three columns without breaking a sweat. Let's see how that works. Now it's still very responsive as usual. And then let's say you wanna have, uh, let's say two columns. Now, if you wanna have two columns here, then you have to make sure that you disable the breakpoint that has either two or more than two. So for this one, you wanna have two here, you can set this as two. They have to be the same or you take them out completely. But personally, I would keep them in case I want to use them or you can comment them out. But so you have two, 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 one. Let's save that and you have two columns all the way to here and then you have one. So if you wanna take it back to four here, four columns, then these, you say, okay, one that to be three columns and this two, this one, and that is gonna refresh. We have your four columns there. Then you have three columns, two, one. So I'm gonna link the code and the formula in the description below. So what do you think about this? Personally, I believe it's gonna solve a lot of problems. I see a lot of people saying, oh, how can I do a four column layout? How can I do a three column layout? Oh, I want it to be two columns. This is gonna solve all those problems. Just one formula with a few lines of CSS. You don't have to go into the settings and start fumbling around. Just put that code there put that formula and everything works like magic. So check the description, get the equation and let me know in the comment section how useful you think this is gonna be to you. And when you use it, don't just use it and go. I'll appreciate, I would like to get a feedback, come back and drop a comment. Let me know if it solved your problem, if it took away all the headache on how to create two columns. How do I do three columns? How do I do four columns? This just takes care of it. All you need to do is just to change that variable and all your columns problem solved. If you feel this solution doesn't meet your need, check out this video I did for auto responsive flexbox layout in Bricks Builder. You're gonna like it. And don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and share this video. Have a great day.